Okay, everybody, BC, uh, making this video because I've recently been watching more and trying to emulate a lot of the things I hear from very successful people, Brian Tracy, uh, Warren Buffett, and all the people who have reached a really high level of financial success. And, you know, as I dive deeper into that, I realize that all this translates into other areas of life, and a lot of the same concepts that I learned from this I've either used in the past or applied to different avenues of my life. So the title of this video is all skills, skills, whether it's work or, you know, a sport or anything like that are learnable, 100% learnable. Anybody who's made it in a, at a high level in any particular endeavor, whether it's sports or something else, may have had natural talent to start. However, any skill that they learn and apply to that particular thing they learned and they mastered. So I wanted to just touch on a few points that, that came to my mind. And the first is, is just overall effort. They say for you to master anything, it's 10,000 hours of practice. Not, not just practice, but proper practice. And that, that really stuck out in my mind because my background is in athletics and I remember being completely obsessed with just working out every day and doing whatever it took in my sport and basketball to really achieve that high level. So I probably put in close to that, if not way more than 10,000 hours. So, you know, th think if you're in real estate about practicing, um, you know, your dialogues, your scripts, your presentations, um, if you're any, in any other kind of sales, studying your product, you know, studying those presentations, you know, studying your customer, there, there's so many things that go into it and I could talk about it for an hour, but really practicing, getting out there, you know, f for us in real estate, prospecting, I know when I have prospected 10,000 hours total, I haven't hit that yet. I know at that point I can legitly say that I'm a master because at that point I will have heard every objection a hundred times and basically been in every possible scenario numerous times and I will have mastered those situations and been the best. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on and, and this is something that I know is an advantage for me is you get out or you get in proportion to what you give so if your effort is 50% or less that's going to be your result if and I say that because a lot of people want to achieve this high level of success or the best results in anything that they're going after but they give piss poor effort or really really minimal effort and I'm happy giving maximum effort for a little bit of gain because I know as long as I'm taking a step forward I'm gonna get somewhere and, and I have the end goal in sight so a lot of people nowadays want to work two hours but get paid for 10 or make more money. Now any millionaire, any person who reaches a high level of success, an entrepreneur, a businessman, they know that they're self-employed. So they're, they know exactly in proportion of their effort is going to be their result. I'm going to say it again. For every effort you give, that proportion of effort, you will get that result. So if you give minimum effort or a little bit, 10% of your effort, you're not going to get the best result. And that's only a, a question you can answer because you, you have to look yourself in the mirror every night and tell yourself and be honest with yourself and say, hey, did I give 100% effort tonight? And I guarantee you most of the people watching this video and 99% of the population is lying to themselves because they're not giving 100% effort. Even I know at this point I'm not perfect. However, I'm getting out there and I'm, I'm going after it. I'm prospecting. I'm doing my thing. I'm always... Uh, like Tony Robbins says, can I? Constant and never-ending improvement. I know I'm on the path to get to where I'm at. I'm giving great effort. I don't know if you can notice on this video, but the sun's been out lately. We've been door knocking a lot. So I know my level of movement is up there and I continue to go harder. I look at what everyone else is doing and I do 10 times what they're doing because I know to get to where I want to go, that's the level of effort that's going to be required. I don't want to live an average life. I want to live an extraordinary life. So I know I have to give extraordinary effort. Now, I only touched on a few things in this video. I didn't want to make it too long, but you know, skills are learnable. You know, you can learn these skills. So if I was to give a tip, it would be find the people in these areas that you want to be good at: communication, sales, uh, mindset, confidence, whatever it is. Seek out the best people and give your exchange to them for them to give you information. Offer them money. Um, you know, like for example, when I started in the business, I. Uh, started taking out agents to lunch and I said hey I'll pay for your lunch let me you know talk to you for 30 minutes or give me one hour of your time just to ask you questions so you seek out the top people who you would consider masters in that category and you learn from them because success leaves clues so it's up to you to find them now these skills that you're gonna need and whatever endeavor that you're after if you're watching this you're probably in real estate 
what do you need to do? You need to be good at prospecting. You need to be good at setting appointments. You need to be good at negotiating. You need to be good at dealing with people, dealing with emotions, putting deals together. These are the things you need to be going after and finding people that are good at, learning from them, and then putting in your own time practicing to get to that level. So the best thing you can do is find like-minded people as well to practice with. Find people that are on the same journey and go with them to the top. So I don't want to make this video too long, but that's it for this one. Uh, keep a lookout for the next one. I'm going to try to make this like a 10-point series with, with each skill or each point as a headline for the video. So rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let other people know. Share it. I've had a lot more people sharing my stuff on Facebook and YouTube and Google. It's awesome. Keep it up. Uh, I'll sign off right now, and I'll see you guys on the next video.